Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. Today, we are going to make a Texas favorite here in Ohio, and that is some armadillo eggs. Stick around, see how we do it. If you're new here, my name is Andrew, and I'm an engineer. So everything that you see today is gonna to be precise and to the point so that you can recreate my recipes. Now let's get started with these armadillo eggs. All right, so the basis of armadillo eggs is going to be jalapeno peppers. What we wanna do is cut the end off here and we're gonna to wanna to de-seed these. Sometimes you need to use a smaller knife, your finger, a potato peeler, things like that. We're just gonna work through these and get these all cleaned up. We're just taking those veins and those seeds out. Just like that. And we're gonna go through and do that with the rest of these peppers. Use the backside of a butter knife here just to help get some of that out. It's working pretty well. The backside of a knife really just busts up everything in there and it comes out so nicely, leaves really nothing behind. And that should be all eight of them. All right, one of the keys is you need to parboil your jalapeno peppers. What that's gonna do is it's gonna soften them up before we put them into the armadillo eggs. If not, they're still gonna remain kind of crunchy. So I've got a pot of boiling water here on my Camp Chef Sidekick, which is one of the awesome features of this grill, is being able to boil a pot of water. Get the lid on here. We're gonna give it a few minutes just to let those soften up. We've got a hard boil going, so it's not gonna take long. All right, so we've had these boiling for a few minutes. I just checked them. They're starting to feel like they're tendering up a little bit, and that's really right where I wanna pull them. So I've got myself a slotted spoon here. Use that to just drain off the water. I'm just gonna throw them right on the lid to this pot. All right, let's get these back over and finish preparing them. So once you've parboiled the jalapenos, get yourself some cream cheese and a spoon, and we're going to pack these full of cream cheese. And these are still warm, so it's actually gonna help that cream cheese get right down in there. If you're not careful, you will split the pepper. I just did that with this one, but I think we'll be all right. All right, let's construct these armadillo eggs. I've got a bowl here where we've got 50% ground pork and 50% mild sausage. We're gonna patty this up so that we can wrap it around those jalapenos. And I wanna take a chunk about the size of what I would make uh, one of my burgers with, maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna use a foil here and I'm gonna patty that up just like so. And I'm gonna take one of these jalapeno peppers and I want to make an egg shape around this jalapeno pepper. Need to thin this up just a little bit more. Then we wanna take two slices of bacon. And we're gonna wrap it around the outside. And this is a bigger armadillo egg. So it might actually take three slices. Let's get two on there and see what happens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take three. That's fine though. We'll just wrap one around like this. Now these are pretty big. I've seen people make them with less pork and less sausage, but I wanted a little bit more meat. So for some reason, we've got leftover jalapenos. I'll just wrap them in bacon and make some stuffed poppers. That is an option that we've got. I'll save one of those small ones for that just in case. The goal is to just kind of sew the pork around it, encase it all the way around, and then we'll shape it kind of like an egg, like so. We'll get three pieces of bacon here. Give 
it a little tug. That'll help us cover more of the armadillo egg here. There, there we go. We got another one. And just so you know, you know, I use two pounds of ground pork and I use two pounds of ground uh, mild sausage. Uh, so I got four pounds of total ground meat, two packs of bacon, and eight jalapenos. And it looks like just the size that I'm making these, we're gonna get seven uh, armadillo eggs out of it, which is fine. I'm gonna make one jalapeno popper. That'll be my appetizer along the way. And I saved the little one for that. That's it. We've got seven armadillo eggs, one jalapeno popper. Let's get the grill fired up. All right, for these armadillo eggs, I'm gonna run this at 250 degrees. So I'm over here at my camp chef. I'm going to select the menu, set temp. We're gonna say 250 degrees. Smoke level 10. Startup procedure has begun. Now I've already got some of the cherry charwood pellets in there. That's a blend of cherry and charcoal. It's gonna go great with these armadillo eggs. Now it's time to open up the lid. All right, my Camp Chef Smoke Pro SG24 is up to 250 degrees. It's time to get these armadillo eggs onto the grill. We'll put the jalapeno popper up front. Nice, easy access. All right, let's get this lid closed. Now I almost forgot I wanted to use some of the Meat Church Honey Hog Hot Barbecue Rub on these. So let's get in here. We're just gonna give a little sprinkle right on top. No harm, no foul, just glad I remembered. Now for these armadillo eggs, we're looking for an internal temperature of 165 degrees. This is pork, so we do want to make sure that it's at least cooked thoroughly. Now I've got some honey here. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit and brush it on because I want a nice little sweet finish on that. And we're going to kick the temperature up as well. And I'm not doing much, just one stripe pretty much. I'm gonna take my brush here and just make sure that it makes it on the surface here. Now some people will take barbecue sauce and base it with that. I thought about maple syrup. I wanted a little sweet with it, so I just did a little bit of honey as you saw. That's gonna help put a nice finish to that bacon, especially when we kick up the temperature here. All right, let's get this lid closed. And I'm gonna set the temperature to 350 degrees. We're basically just giving this a little bit more time to finish up and crisp up that bacon a little bit because these are just a couple degrees away from 165. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, so like I showed you, we basted these with some honey. We gave it about five to eight minutes at 350 degrees. It's time to pull them out. You're gonna be surprised how good they look. Man. and my little jalapeno popper. Let's get this thing shut, get it turned off. We're gonna let these cool for a few minutes and we'll see you over at the table to give them a try. We let these armadillo eggs rest for about five minutes. It's time to give them a try. Now I'm gonna move a few of these out of the way. Get them over here. Take this one right here. I got my slicing knife. I'm gonna go right 
down the center. Oh, oh, would you look at that? What a beautiful armadillo egg. As you can see, that's still steaming. We're gonna give it just another moment here. We're gonna give it a try. Maybe I'll slice it one more time though. Oh yeah. That looks pretty dang good. What do you think? All right, we've given it a minute or two to cool down. I got this nice big chunk here. Got some jalapenos, some cream cheese, some bacon, got it all. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never had these before. So this is my first reaction to an armadillo egg. That is delicious. That is, that is absolutely delicious. They know what they're doing down in Texas with these armadillo eggs. I will say though, that that little bit of honey that I put on there added a little, it added a different dynamic to it. And man, that's good. I, I gotta have another piece. I'm going for another center cut here because we know center cut's the best. Now that's some mighty fine eats. Those armadillo eggs are amazing. And if you want more amazing recipes this summer, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time at Anderson's Smoke Show.